Hopefully it'll work. Yay. Hello everybody. Welcome back to the longest journey. We shall continue the journey. And we shall... We're that one, aren't we? Yes, okay. So we just went in to get some sweets. So... We're playing... Paying with your time. Yes, yes. Yes, you are. I know, I know. I, I do appreciate you guys being here. I said that, you know. I, I do say that, but... But equally... <clears throat> The more I treat this like a job, the less I'll enjoy it. So I'm like, no, we must stop now and do this. This is the time for this now. You know. Hello, April. I like my outfit. It's inexpensive, but cool. Um, so we have to go and see Cortez, which means we have to go to this. Uh, gallery which is on the other side of town so we have to go to the metro and that will of course involve us getting scanned and stuff like that um, now I think this session will involve the first puzzle and uh, these guys are still there getting in trouble uh, puzzles in this game are um, Quite, quite, quite convoluted and 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 quite difficult. Uh, so, I think like my, um, we can all work together on them. I think is is the way that I'm going to approach them. <laughs> um, also, I do have access to a um, a walkthrough that will give me us clues. The game will go blank when I uh, access it, though. No, yeah, we get that. So, uh -oh. I'm not settling to be so aware hmm. of myself. Uh oh. I thought she said something else after that. It was a clue. Uh oh. Because we've got. We've got some cash. Oh, hang on. She's leaving. <laughs> She's a gene scanner. We don't have to pay. No, I'm pretty sure we don't have to pay. It's a, it, we need our genes. So we haven't. Maybe you click the gate? Maybe it's the... Ah, maybe that. The gates that. scan oh, everybody okay. who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with the database. If you that is a puzzle. Fare, the alarm goes off and the cops show up. Right, so let's pay our fare, because we've... My cash oh, no. card. Da, da. Usable anywhere in the world, and it's totally anonymous. Hmm, if it's anonymous. Yeah, I can't use it on the gate. What else we got? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is a good start, isn't it? Well, it is. A, it is a puzzle, though. It is. A, we're at, we're at, we're at a puzzle. This is a puzzle. So, okay, you're right. The gates scan everybody who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with... We need to find out how to buy a ticket. Sure you can't be that difficult to buy a ticket. There's a pixel. Oh, it's, ah, pixel. All right. That's a James. Hmm. It says gate. Yeah, no, that, that's not a pixel. That's the thing you try and get through. I th think. What? I got something on my face. 
My gates scan everybody who goes in and out of the station and compares their genetic signature with the database. If you haven't paid your fare, the so, alarm goes off and the Yeah, but our cash card doesn't um have our genes in it because it's anonymous. Uh oh. So it's not that. Can I get to the spark thing? Nope. Uh oh. Let me check back where we live. Yeah, I might check hints already. <laughs> Let's check hints. So it's going to go blank, I think. Oh yeah, it's going to go to the V. But let's have a look. Let's see what it says. So I'm checking the uh, the walkthrough. Uh, so chapter one. Why can't I use the subway? Do you know where you want to go? Yes, we do. Okay, next hint. You won't be able to take the subway until you know where Cortez has gone to. Yep, well, we've, we've done that. Are you sure everyone knows where he is? Yes, yes. Yes, we know that. I think. Yeah, we've got a ticket and everything, haven't we? You need to get past the scanner. Yes, I know that. Once you're on a train, look at a map overhead and select the subway stop. Alright, how do I use the scanner? There we go. Have you noticed the little cartoon strip at the bottom that shows you how to do it? Oh! Have you noticed the little cartoon strip on the bottom that shows you how to do it? Alright. Maybe we'll go back then. Hang on. Um. Alright, it's a little little cartoon or something. It was something yeah, something we didn't click on. Nothing really here, is there? Maybe it's up. Cartoon. We could have walked there by now. Hello, Dragon of the Blackpool. Yeah. User, yeah. Boxy thing to the right. It's up. What uh, downstairs or uh, or or upstairs? Hi, Kenzo. Here, as in inside or outside. <laughs> I've looked at the scanner. Like, well, I can't. I, it, it won't let me do anything. I'll just. The gates scan just that. everybody who goes in right, and out of the station and compares their genetic the signature. The thing with the on database. the right. If you behind. haven't paid your fare, the alarm goes off and the cops show up. No, Kenzo. Oh. It's a gene scanner. Right. That's that's a gene 
Oh, okay. Uh, well, I just want a single, I guess. Buttons. I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. Okay. There we go. Right, so that wasn't really a riddle at all, was it? We just couldn't find the pixel. Oh, that, that sucks. It's a small camera. Yeah, you, well, it's a small camera. You gotta look at it, girl. Right, eyeballs. You already pushed the button. Okay. Well, use it's the. It's a small camera. Oh, the the the. Oh, for God's sakes. No! 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 Stop! Right, go back. Right, gene scanner. Use it. I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. Instructions. <laughs> okay. What is this thing? There we go. Stand there and be scanned. Fifteen dollars subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metro Line subways for exactly one year. Yeah, it sucks, Kenzo. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. Okay, back, 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 back. Yay! What's this? There's a high voltage cable running parallel with the rail, and something's gotten stuck between them. It looks like a large iron key. Yeah, we'll need that. No, I know you need that. I'm pretty sure you need the ducky for that. It looks like a large iron key. You need the ducky. I'm pretty sure you need the ducky for this one. I'd have to get down there to reach with my hands with that frayed high voltage cable. Oh, I can't see who that was, but thank you for your sacrifice. I didn't brush my teeth this morning just so I could be fried bacon with a pretty smile. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. Yeah, we need uh, more than what we've got here. So there's, there's this. Oh, God, it's awful. It tastes like mouthwash. Ew. I'm pretty sure I know how to fix the glove. Eaten piece of candy. No, I don't. I know you. Ah, don't matter. Not sure we need the key yet anyway. No, I don't think I need it. Uh Go. <clears throat> yes, we'll always need the rubber ducky. <laughs> need the rubber ducky. I can't I can't see um, notifications because the it stretches my monitor out to the side for some reason. So I can't see the stream preview that well, so hello? Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Yeah. I don't know why it says lady in like that. Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. The screen really is you. Hello. Ah, okay. I didn't want to go there. I didn't mean to click it off. I was just gonna. It's a dude. Doesn't look like a dude. Okay. Right. Let's not go back to Venice.
Go! Trendy. I did just assume her gender, yeah. Another victim of Amethyn. Poor guy's drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. <laughs> Hi, Selzel. <laughs> That's good. Big sound from such a small box. Poor guys drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. Newport Transit Systems. No, it's not. A, uh, uh, no, it's um. Is it Portland? Can't remember now. It's a district of a massive, massive um city. Where am I now? Did you find the right. Sir. Sir? I guess I'm here. <laughs> I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. There's absolutely nothing out there. Nothing. Oh, there's a city, an entire world even. But nothing. It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. Can't speak to him. It's a pointy-edged swan. It's a pointy-edged swan. It's a short, nude creature. There he is. Will you stop following me? This dude is bothering me. For the life of me, I can't figure out why Cortez wants to meet me. Come to think of it, why do I want to meet him? Newport, that's it. I knew I'd port in it. About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. Why? Just look at it. Who's the artist? A boy named Warren Hughes. Not so long ago, I knew him and his family quite well. But he does not paint anymore. It's nice work. It's very nice. But there's more to it than nice. Keep looking. Huh. What am I looking for? What do you see? I figured that would be something, Hugh. An oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. That's all you see? But there's so much more. Look. Look. Hey, because there's the back of someone's head here. So their faces are like, you know, the cheeks together. Cheeks together? Cheats are together. Blech. I see art. Art, yes. And beyond that. Beyond art. <laughs> illusion. Illusion. Skill and imagination allow the artist to create an illusion. But that is only skin deep. Beneath the illusion. Yet it was the answer, Dash. What else is there? Sorry, I'm talking over it. Truth? Truth. Exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, this particular work of art, speaks a deeper truth. 
It has a soul. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you. And you're not quite sure why. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either. Although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who've spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and illusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? How the hell do you know these things? It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here, and your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. <laughs> I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again, no way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I said... Goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> Diary. <clears throat> Should we check that now or later? We'll have the roundup at the end, won't we? Let me 
much you can do here, is there? It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. Slow day, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. The Roma Gallery. Maybe one day I'll have my own show here. Well, I guess we go back. Big city. Big city. If this was a city of skylines, I'd have these going all over the place. You'd have to have ten dozen stops in order to get from one to the other, but that's just me. Anyway. Hmm. Maybe the diary will tell us where to go next, though. So I will read it. I like it always defaults to the end. Okay, so, <clears throat> still Friday, this is a busy day for Dear Diary, busy and a weird day, late afternoon, Cortez is, how shall I put this nicely, completely and utterly out there, I mean, he goes on and on about the truth of art, and when it turns out that that's not the reason he wants me to talk to me, but that, but does he tell me why it's so urgent we see each other? No, he says that I have to wait until tomorrow, right, yeah, as if. There's something strange going on, I know that, and it's obvious that it isn't just me losing touch with reality. Why would Cortez be involved if that's the case? So what the hell is happening? And does Cortez actually have some answers? I so don't want to hook up with that guy again. He freaks me out, big time. But I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, do I have a choice? Do I? <laughs> Gets to you, doesn't it, Arch? Gets to you. I wonder what the homeless people do in the winter. Ah, bridges. I think we should go home. I think that's... Sensible? I don't know. It seems natural. Oh, here we are. There's Mickey. Mickey's not usually the sit in front of the screen type of gal. Unlike Fiona, she's always working on something around the house. Scares are finally gone. Yeah. Such a great couple. So I keep talking over it. It's Fiona. What's going on, Mickey? I'll just stand in front of you. Well, the water's been fixed, so you can take a hot shower if you want. I smell that bad? No, I didn't mean that you. I just, you know, in case you wanted to take a warm shower, I, I just wanted you to... The water being hot, as it were. Thanks, Mickey. Yeah. Interestingly, if you take a warm shower when it's hot, it actually is supposed to cool you down. Because you make your body warmer, so it expels heat. If you make your body really cold in a cold shower, it suddenly, your body's really cold, so it tries to keep all the heat within it. So it actually, in the long run, doesn't really help. But if you take a warm shower, your body expels more heat. Apparently. Shall I heard? There you go. Little life hack for you there. What was wrong with the pipes? They're just old. Like all of Venice. They're really old. Twice a year, every year, I have to spend a half a day freezing my ass off down in the canal performing emergency surgery on the pipes. Not that I don't love doing it, especially when my so-called partner's curled up on the sofa watching soaps all day long. Hmm. 
I heard you had a nightmare last night. Did she tell you that? She can't keep her mouth shut, can she? You can't, can you? As if your screaming wasn't enough to wake up the whole building. And so what if you were having a nightmare? You are human, you know, even though you'd like to think differently. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause an argument. It's just that I had a nightmare as well. Good luck trying to get anything out of her. She's so very together, you know. There'll be no chink in her armor. She's the Iron Lady. Well, bollocks. Would you shut up, Fiona? I mean, for once, would you just shut up? Yes, I had a nightmare, and yes, it's none of your business. So don't try to make it your business. I wasn't trying to... Oops. to intrude. Fine. I just don't like talking about my dreams, yeah? I'll talk to you later, Mickey. Yeah. It's Fiona. Oh, yeah, I know that. Have you been sitting here all day? Pretty much, darling. I feel like a vegetable. How was your day, then? Hmm. It's been a weird day. How so? Well, you know how some mornings you wake up, but you're not sure if you're really awake or if you're still just dreaming? I feel like that every morning, darling. A pot of black coffee cures that in a flash. That's how I've been feeling all day. Like I said, it's been a weird day. How was yours? Exceedingly ordinary. Almost depressingly so. I poked my head out of the door once for about a second, but thought better of it. <laughs> I mean, that was the idea, yeah, that if you cool your body down too fast, it tries to heat up. So... You actually heat your body up when you're trying to cool it down. It was on the uh, BBC website, so I'm not saying that means that it's absolutely utterly true, but it's a pretty good source. But yeah, it's hardly a scientifically peer-reviewed paper, I know, but I, I can see the um, logic behind it. Anyway. What are you watching? Don't matter. Nothing special. We were thinking about watching a movie later, though. Yeah, which one? They have quite a few new releases out. Did you ever see Victory Hotel? No. Is it good? That's what they say. So we might catch that one. Can I ask you a few questions? See if there's anything oh, certainly, new. darling. About what? Where did you find my ring? Under the sofa, darling. It must have slipped off your finger while you were watching a movie or something. That's strange, because I've been keeping it in a box in my room. I rarely ever wear it, and I've never carried it around in my pocket. <sighs> what do you think of Cortez? I'm not sure what you mean, darling. Do you think he's a little creepy? <laughs> oh, he's harmless. That old hippie's been drugged up for 50 years, and he's not likely to come down any time soon. Mickey likes him, but I'm not a big fan. But what can I do? He just sits outside the building, smoking or reading a book. He doesn't harm anyone. How long has he been around? Oh, I don't know. A year, maybe? He just showed up one day, and he hasn't left since. He never leaves his spot? <laughs> he sleeps and eats, obviously. And sometimes he goes to some revival cinema uptown. Mm. Says that second to reading, old movies are his greatest passion. What else can you tell me about Cortez? One word I wouldn't use to describe him is lucid. He's always on about some bollocks idea, and you'd never know from listening to him that he's got any sense at all. People say he's quite sharp, though, quite intelligent. Well-read, multilingual, and he's traveled all over the world, apparently, but still completely bonkers, if you ask me. Hmm. I don't think there's any more about, the, more border about house. the border house. What precisely do you want to know? Thanks for the information. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm glad I could help you out, darling. Yeah. Thanks for your help, Fiona. You're welcome, darling. Why don't you sit down and watch a movie with us, April? You know what? That sounds like an excellent idea. There we go. I've got to find Cortez and get him to explain what the hell's going on. Insane or not, he's the only person I can talk to about this. <clears throat> In a few hundred years, when my great-grandchildren rummage through the attic and find this book, they're probably going to have a ball. I'm not, e I'm not even sure if I want to write about what happened last night because chances are I'll never forget, ever. And future generations are likely to be better off not knowing. But I'm sure now that whatever's going on is not just in my head, it's in everybody's head. Last night was uh, positive proof of that, which begs the question, uh, the things I've seen, my dreams, what's real and what's not. Uh, I'm afraid the only person who might be able to answer that question is Cortez. How's that for irony? Uh, that in order to prove to myself that I'm not going mad, I have to talk to the one person I'm sure is totally insane. What a great way to start the weekend. Oof. I wonder why it's called a twin bed. There's no way it could possibly accommodate two people. Not that I've had a chance to try. Hmm. I got those posters from the cafe. I'm pretty sure a lot of this will be the same, but there might be something out there. Books. I don't read much, but I believe it's important to maintain an intellectual facade. Still just shelves, still just shelves, still just shelves. It's just a chair. It's just a chair. I worry about the exhibition coming up in two weeks. Mm -hmm. This is the net result of my work. A pile of nothing. Let's see and if there's anything else in the closet. Bunch of useless old drawings. Empty cardboard box. That's so not interesting. When fame and wealth come knocking, I'll buy a wardrobe the size of an ocean liner <laughs> and fill it with clothes for a million bucks. Right now, I'll try to focus on my work. Oh. British sign there. My suitcase. When fame and wealth come knocking, my suitcase. It's real wood. Real wood. How's the plant going? I'll check on the plant later. I've heard that if one stares long enough at a brick wall, one learns to decipher the infinitesimal patterns of cosmos. However, I don't think I have time for that today. Right, I should it. Hmm. It's a rubber ducky. Hopelessly trapped under that rusty old grill. Sacrifice. Thank you for your sacrifice. Sorry, I can't see your name, but thank you. It's a clothesline. Right. Spiky. I still haven't figured out what runs through the canals in Venice, but I'm sure it can't be water. It's a seagull. The poor guy looks quite hungry. Yes. Oh. Here you go. No. It's a rusty old grill kept afloat by a rubber ducky. <laughs> a rubber ducky. Um. Well. 
Whatever those pipes are spewing out, I know one thing for sure, it ain't water. It's a rubber ducky, helplessly trapped under that rusty old grill. Not sure I can do anything with this just yet. Yeah, probably. That's Charlie's apartment. Let's see if he's in. Nobody home. Ah, uh, Zach might be in, but we don't like him. Should we call on Zach? He might have something. You know, it's one of those games where you kind of have to do everything. <laughs> he might not be in. That's Zach's room. I've never been in there, and I pray I never will. Yeah. Nuh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not knocking on that door unless it's absolutely necessary and frankly, <laughs> I don't see that happening anytime soon all right let's discuss what happened shall we it's Fiona <clears throat> did your tongue stick to the window pane again Fiona Please tell me last night was a dream, mate. Not a badge. A sword. I don't know what it was. I wish there was an explanation. But both you and Mickey all saw the same thing, didn't we? Not a dream, not a hallucination, but what? <laughs> Weird things have been happening lately. I have noticed. This isn't the first time. What other weird things have happened lately? Little things, like movement in the corner of your eye that's gone when you turn your head. And noises, the kind you're not supposed to hear in the city. Animal noises. Wild animals. Oh. And once, this was very early in the morning, mind, a few days ago, I looked down into the canal and saw what looked like an underwater city. As I looked at it, it dissolved into ripples of water. Scary. You're telling me, darling. I'm scared of cockroaches, for God's sake. What do you think this does to my nerves? Have you seen Cortez today? No, darling. I don't think he's around. Could you tell Cortez I'm looking for him? Mm. Certainly, darling, if I happen to see him. Do you have any idea where Cortez is? Just said that. Sorry, he could be anywhere. Well, he does enjoy going uptown to watch old movies in some revival cinema, but where that is, I wouldn't know. Hmm. Who'd know? Perhaps Zack. He is, after all, the self-appointed film expert around here. Oh. You should talk to him, darling. Hmm. Well. Great, Zack. My very best friend in the whole wide world. Thanks. <laughs> I have to get going. Take care of yourself out there, darling. A foot. I made myself one solemn promise regarding this diary. On the day I first met him, I swore that Zach, uh, I swore that Zach Lee would never, ever be mentioned in this book. Ever. Whoops. Well, promises are made to be broken, right? I just wish I didn't have to break this one. I mean, it's not because he's an asshole. He is. Well, that's not what bothers me. And that's not because he's constantly hitting on me either. Or because he lives right across the hall. And every time I take a shower, he just happens to wander into the bathroom. Or because he's less mature than a spoiled four-year-old and <laughs> with the vocabulary and imagination of a 14-year-old. No, the thing about Zach that bothers me most is that he's so smug about himself. He thinks he's the bomb, so to speak. And no matter what I say to discourage him, he doesn't get it. Asking him for help goes against 
everything I believe in. But apparently, if I want to find Cortez anytime soon, I don't have a choice. This is so humiliating. Coffee table. It's supposed to be a coffee table. <laughs> so we're back up here now. I never imagined I'd be doing this in a million years. Uh, hello? Oh, oh well. What do you know? The princess comes knocking after all. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. I think you're the one who's got her hopes up, babe. And you better hope I don't slam this door in your face. Just oh. do me one favor first, okay? Well, give me a reason to, babe. A reason? You want a reason? Okay. What about a date? Yeah. Good. Tonight. Uh, sure. Tonight. I'll meet you at the... Pavilion, was it? And, uh, are you gonna put out? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm gonna use my VIP passes and my pills, babe, I just gotta know if it'll be worth it or not. You on? We'll see, Zach. <sighs> yeah, just don't do a Houdini and vanish on me, babe. If you're a no-show and I wait around for you all night, I end up looking like an asshole. That wouldn't make me very happy. I'll be a good girl and show. Smart. So, uh, what do you want to know? Where can I find a theater that shows old movies? There are quite a few that do, but only one that runs optical stock. I figure that's the one you want, yeah? Why? Because that's where Cortez likes to hang out. And I'm guessing you're trying to hook up with him. No, no. I just need to do some research for a painting. Babe, I'm not a moron. I see you guys together. What are you, his lover? Do shriveled old weirdos turn you on? What is it, his accent? His acute lack of fashion? It's not what you think. Whatever. Hey, like I give a shit? You're with me tonight. By tomorrow morning, I don't think you'll find that old creep so appealing anymore. So, where's Cortez? Uh, when he's not outside reading or whatever the hell he does. He's usually at the Mercury Theater. They show old movies on real celluloid stock through a projector. Like in the fucking Middle Ages. Where is this theater located? I don't remember the street it's on. It's been ages since I was there last. But you'll find it if you head out the East Gateway from Metro Circle. It's close to the Radio Power Building. And there are tons of adult stores in the area. Good to know. Actually, if you're not too busy, you could pick up something for us to watch tonight. Something really filthy. Zack, I don't think... Hey, whatever. I was just kidding, yeah? Babe, you got a major bug up your ass. Get a fucking sense of humor, yeah? I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the tip and the info. Just be at the pavilion by ten, okay? I don't like waiting around for babies like you. Got a million better things to do. And it wouldn't be a good idea for you to ditch me. Not a good idea at all. I don't see where I wouldn't meet him. He seems like a grand chap. <laughs> Con to Zach and find Cortez uptown, right off the Metro Circle, at a movie theater called Mercury Theater. Even I know it's an Austin Wells reference. Well, I didn't. Uh, makes sense because I remember him saying something about old movies yesterday morning. I'll have to catch the subway to get there. Oh, can't wait. Uh, I so love Metro Circle. The prostitutes, the drug dealers, the decomposition. Decomposing, uh, garbage, the tourists. Oh, yeah, sweet, nice. Decomposing. Not yourself. Next time you promise to go on a date with Zach Lee, bring somebody along to put a bullet through your head. Like, duh. Why does she say those things in, in her journal? Because she doesn't stop, she didn't like talk like that. You know, like, like whatever, and as if, and duh. Shelves. 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 Metro. Met Metro. Over here. This way, Apple. This way. 
Yeah, pretty much. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very day of the infamous Venice... Subway, not Metro. Subway, same thing. No. I know, but I'm just wondering why she sounds like such a moron when she writes. She is a fast writer, yeah. It's an orc! Molo, molo! <laughs> Pretty rad, isn't it? <laughs> the screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. Yeah, well. Nice. Would you believe this is the first thing I saw when I came to Newport? Big city? Gotta love it. Oh. Metro Circle, gloriously decadent. I hear Bingo's planning to buy the whole thing, convert it into a theme park or something. I'll believe it when I see it. Sex to see, sexual fantasy. Just the thing I need to feel really depressed about my love life. provide access to the mid and upper levels of Newport. I'd need proper ID before I could use them, of course. Hmm. There's no way going that way, I don't know. Oh yeah, this looks familiar. Oh, there we are. Oh, a dealer. Sweet. I think he's selling something. Counterfeit. Triple strength raptures, probably. Highly addictive and guaranteed to blow your mind. Literally. Popular place. Not my crowd, though. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Can we just come from there? Metro Circle? Subway. Huh. Well, they're going to the subway. This guy's the reason they invented the phrase, hitting the bottle. And he's hitting it hard. Well, at least he's not doing anything. It's a liquor store. It's a liquor store. Yeah, yeah. There we are. Here we are. We can just walk in and talk to him, and that'll be that. Yeah. Mercury. They left out the theater bit, but maybe that's self-explanatory. The box office is closed. The box office is closed. Bergman Festival at the Mercury Theater opens August 1st, 2209. That's on Tuesday. That was interesting. Maybe I'll go. Just trash. Well, because we'll have a look in it. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Lady, don't you keep playing with that thing now, you hear? Leave it be. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, um. Oh, geez. 
Hold on there one second, lady. Dang, Marky, light up! Good. Now stay that way, you hear? Do you work at the theater? Yes, um, I'm Freddy. Freddy Mellon. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she owns the theater. Yep, I reckon she does, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> she owns it, and she be running it by her own self, like a, a real proprietor. I reckon I help out some, of course. Yep. <laughs> and what do you do, sir? I'm the usher. And I also takes care of sweeping and cleaning up after the show. Uh -huh. My mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, she says she reckon I'm a regular jack of all trades. I tell you what, I think she's right about that. Uh -huh. Is the theater open now? No, I reckon it ain't, lady. It don't open till this evening. Ain't nobody in there either. I reckon that wouldn't be legal. You know a man called Cortez? No. I can't say as I does, lady. Ain't never met him. Now, I reckon I'd like to get on with my sweeping, uh-huh. But I'm supposed to meet him here. Are you sure you don't know him? Look, lady. I reckon you you should just mind your own bee's knees and get. I told you, I ain't seen Cortez today. <laughs> yeah. You said you didn't know Cortez. Mm -hmm. I I reckon I don't know nobody by that name. So so I tell you what. I'd mighty appreciate it if, if you'd stop bothering me and let me get on with my work. Jesus, Mary, and baby Joseph. I reckon the whole dang world is, wants to find Cortez today. Thanks, anyway. Yes, yeah, some. I'll tell you what. You go on now and let Freddie Mellon do his sweeping <laughs> before his mama, Mrs. Dottie Mellon, get all P-I-S-T off. <laughs> I remember what to do here, at least with this guy. That guy's so conspicuous, he's got to be a cop on a stakeout assignment. Hi there, having fun? Didn't your mother teach you not to talk to strangers? Yeah, she did. Then what are you doing here? Get lost. Why are you dressed like a cop? What do you mean, why am I dressed like a... Hey, wait a second, what's it to you? Just trying to do my bit for the boys in blue, sir. You look like a cop, so... If you're on a stakeout or something, you should try to blend in a little more. Go native! Yeah, how? I don't know. But that trench coat... It sort of gives it away. Perhaps a pair of blue jeans and one of those I'm with stupid t-shirts might help. Hold on, let me get this down right. Hey, wait a second, what am I doing? Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> the NPD fashion consultant? Is that supposed to be funny, ma'am? Are you a comedian or something? Because I'm not laughing. I'm not even smiling, am I? Now get your ass out of here and don't bother me again. Is that a threat? Damn right it's a threat. Hmm. Hmm. That door leads back into what looks like an alleyway behind the theater. Of course it is. Hmm. What if there was a key somewhere? It's locked. Come on, you can make it. Oh, maybe, maybe this way. 
Nope. Oh, there we go. It's a fuse box. There's something wrong with the power in that box, and it looks like the theater marquee's connected to the same switch. It keeps flickering on and off. Hmm. Hello again. Christ, don't you ever quit? What is it now? Don't you get tired of hanging around here all day long? No, ma'am. So you're completely fine. There's nothing you'd want. That's right. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Not even a bite to eat? Just had a full lunch, ma'am. Thanks for asking. So you just had lunch? That's right. At Cool Cow. What did you have? <laughs> a triple whammy cow patty with a side order of grease onions and a large bingo cola. No ice. What about fries? And a double order of cheese and fried taters, yeah. Tastiest damn fries you're ever likely to find. Soaking in melted goat cheese. And you had this... when? Well, about an hour ago. And you don't feel, um, the urge to go? No, ma'am, no. My bowels are genetically enhanced and require only perfunctory attention. <laughs> Burger field job good? You don't have the munchies? Well, now you mention it, I have a craving for sweets. Oh, there we go. I didn't have time for my usual cool cow strawberry pie with whipped cream chocolate sauce and a scoop of ice cream. Wait a second. What am I telling you all this for? <laughs> Who the hell are you anyway? <laughs> Get out of here, ma'am. Right this minute or else... Yeah. Is this a threat? I think that was a threat. A very serious one, ma'am. I know what to do. Green ooze. Ew. Hmm. Oh no, wait, wait, come back. Make some damn food. Yeah. What's this? Wonder if I can eat it. Piece of candy soaking in green ooze. Gross. If I can eat it. I'm not completely mad. <laughs> it's soaking in green ooze and it smells like kerosene. I know. I know. I remember this bit though. Would you like a candy? Hey, yeah. That'll hit the spot. What the hell? The taste. Sickening. I feel kind of. Christ! Hey, what... What the hell do you think you're doing? Did you just throw a rock at my head? Now, I tell you what. You shouldn't have done that. I reckon that was a bad mistake. You should have seen him run, lady. I reckon I ain't never seen nobody run that fast. And he was clutching at his buttocks like he had the runs or something. <laughs> he, he even lost his stupid old hat in the gutter. <laughs> I ain't never seen anything that funny in a while. So we got the hat. Where's the hat? Need the hat? You're right, I should. Where's the hat? There it is. It's that detective guy's hat. He must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon. You should. Ah, uh, that's that would be a brilliant idea, Dash. Absolutely.
I'll just sign the road while I look at this. It's that detective guy's hat. This guy's the reason they invented the. Hmm. It's a fuse box. Some kind of keyhole. A zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word zigzag. <laughs> A zigzag lightning bolt. I just love that word zigzag. Caution. Is that like a general caution as in life caution? Life should carry a big yellow caution sticker. Yeah, Hans. It's certain to kill you sooner or later. Pretty sure we don't have anything to go in there. Oh, poster. Women in dire need of medical attention. I thought that was a porno, but I guess it's just an artsy foreign flick. As long as they speak French, it, it can't be smart. I don't think you can. Um. Nope. What can I do for you, Mia? <clears throat> Thanks, anyway. <laughs> yeah, some. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll see that. Maltese Falcon. Casablanca. That's ah. with John Wayne and Catherine Hepburn, I think. They play a married couple who adopt a baby leopard during World War II. It's a timeless classic. The Maltese Falcon. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. It's a Disney cartoon with a falcon who um goes looking for a black cauldron. It's got some mice in it, I think. I mean, don't they all? <laughs> all right. I don't think there's that much we can do here. There's no place where we can wait. Maybe get though. I think I've been here. Oh, I have oh, no one. Go back there. Oh. Okay. Um. Ones can carry up to 100 people at a time and make a way fast. I've never been inside one, of course. No. Nope. It's a police officer. I'll just uh, go up to it and. Um... Hold it! You're not taking this elevator. No. Oh. Why? Because you're not carrying proper identification. Didn't you know that's a corporate offense in Newport? In Venice, you don't have to. I see. Venice. I should have known. Step back or I'll be forced to take you down with extreme prejudice. Well. How do I get permission to go through? Only citizens of mid-level status or above are allowed to use these elevators. I guess you're new to this city or you'd know that. Uh, yeah, fresh from the countryside. You do look like a farm girl, it's true. Hey, watch it! Hmm. How do you get mid-level status? Birth, money, marriage. Schmucks like you and me, miss. We're stuck here. This 
Speak for yourself, schmuck. What's up with the cops in this city? I'm sorry? I mean, when you arrest people, you read them their rights, and then you sell them products. It's all part of the job, miss. The police department is a subdivision of the Bokemba Mercer Company and the Bingo Corporation. Hmm. They pay our bills. Doesn't that constitute a conflict of interest? Not if we don't arrest any employees of either company. That makes so not sense. Does when you're faced with the prospect of getting the boot, miss. I have kids, and I'd like to see them through college. He's not Thanks, a robot, he's just like a weird mask on. We're here to protect, serve, and to inform you of the fantastic range of products offered by Bokemba Mercer and Bingo, manufacturers of the world's favorite soft drinks and handguns. <laughs> All right, so should we consult the walkthrough? Have a little look. Chapter 2. So, um... No, it's a bit vague. You guys have any suggestions? I don't want to go too into it, you know, in case I read something I shouldn't. Any ideas about what we should do for the next ten minutes or so? What? I got something on my face? Is my hair okay? What are you looking at? No. I think it's time for the ducky puzzle. So then we can get the key. Alright. So let's, uh, well, let's go back down. Oh, well. Ducky time. Hmm. Well, the key is in the, uh, subway. So the key's down here. Here it is. So. I'll have to find some other way to get the key. So we got a glove, but it's broken. So we need to fix the glove, at least. I think it involves the sweet and something else. Maybe you need like a band-aid or something? But then a band-aid would work anyway, wouldn't it? Um, we still might not get the ducky. I know we need to get the ducky. Yeah, we might not. We might not get the ducky. Don't get your hopes upon the ducky. Do we have everything we need to get the ducky? <laughs> Very cubist and not my style at all. We've got to free it from under the grate. So If, we, if you want, we can call him Gerard, yes, yeah, sure. 
Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't have what I need to get the ducky. Look to the right of the halfway house. Oh, there's this. Ah, yes. You know, I never noticed this before. Hmm. I guess that's a pressure gauge. It's at 100. That's percent, I guess. 100% pressure? It's a rusty old wheel. I'd imagine it turns the water on and off. What a mystifying contraption, and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? Oops. Oh. Seems the clamp served a purpose after all. Hm, what a surprise. Should have done this. The clamp's keeping the hose closed, so it won't leak. Hmm. Mystifying. It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. Mystifying. Ah, oh, yeah. That cable's been ripped in two. The cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Oh, but this won't work, will it? Because that might be where we need the glove. I hope it doesn't melt or anything. Maybe not. It's alive! Oh no. Mystifying, mystifying, mystifying. Yeah, because that stops the one moving, so I mean, I, I'm not sure I'm... That's still green. No. It won't budge! The pressure's probably too high! Oh, yeah, I'm all in line. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got really the pressure first. keeping the hose closed so it won't leak 
<laughs> well, I can't touch it anymore now, so that's that bit done. Very tiny left you, Lucy. Put the leaf on it. Something I haven't found yet. Mystifying. Okay. Mystifying. The water tank's full. The water tank's full. That makes sense. Mystifying. 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 Let's just start again. <laughs> yes. What relief the pressure. <laughs> I like it. The water tank's full. Let's break the water tank. Have we got like a big hammer or something? That's it. The water tank's full. Is everything done on this screen? I suppose I could ask the uh, walkthrough. <sighs> yeah, well, either that or I'll check the walkthrough. But yeah, guide me then. Make yourselves useful. Mystifying. The bolt on the. No, don't don't ask questions. I'm just gonna. It's at one hundred. That's percent, I Top guess. One hundred percent pressure. The exit. Mystifying. Oh, oh right. Okay. It's a pressure valve. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hooray! It's currently at zero percent. No oh, pressure. Doesn't... <laughs> anyway, uh... It's a clamp. Oh, the clamp. It's a clamp. It's a clamp. It's a clamp. It's a 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 it's Just check in. Just check in. I'm not leaving my gold ring. Somebody's going to have to replace that cable eventually. I hope no one minded me doing that. Look at the thing! Look at the... No, I don't think it was snow. Um... Still need more. Yeah, so you can't get it yet. We can't get the ducky yet. I'll look anyway. I think we'll have to get the ducky next week, guys. I'm afraid. We'll do something then. Uh, it's... Oh. No! Oh, thank you. <sighs> okay. Wow, that was scary. 
Yeah, we'll have to get the ducky next week. Yeah, Gerard, sorry. Yes, Gerard. He's suffering. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you know. If we save him this week, there'll be nothing to get you come back this week. So, you know, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of like, just, just stop there for a little while. So, yeah. You can kind of see why people, how people got stuck on this, can't you? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, the dialogue's great. The story is very uh, intriguing. It's... Uh, you know, it's just the puzzles are a little bit convoluted and unclear and, you know, a bit awkward at times. But I have you guys and I have the uh, little walkthrough thing that asks me questions. So, um, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yes, and we shall save Gerard next week, don't you worry. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Really appreciate it. There could be a million other streams you could be at and another million things you could be doing. So you chose to spend it with me. So I appreciate that. Have a good week. I shall be streaming throughout the week as usual, probably, unless stuff um, pops up. I also have to be starting a, a new Let's Play next, uh, next week as well on the Tuesday and Thursday. So look out for that um, <clears throat> if I record that tomorrow. So, good night, everybody. Take care. And... Did